Shoot him in the back the Guardian way. Howdy folks and welcome back to another episode of Tyria Talk. My name is Richard Procopio, aka Bog Otter, and this show is all about Guild Wars 2. Today is episode number 76, and today we're going to be talking about the Dragon Hunter Elite Specialization for the Guardian in Guild Wars 2. Real quick, if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of specializations, with the Heart of Thorns expansion, each of the professions is going to get an Elite Specialization that they can actually pull different uh, abilities from, and they can spec into the, the Elite Specialization or not. And the Guardian is going to be able to turn themselves into Dragon Hunters. Now, um, this video is a little bit late since the news broke last week. And um, I've been sick. So that's my, I apologize why this video is coming out a little late. But rather than like sit there and pour through every single ability like I kind of did with the uh, the Chronomancer, that information is already out there. There's other YouTubers that have covered it. There's other websites that have all the information out there. I wanted to talk about the flavor and name controversy that the community has totally erupted in as a result of this Dragon Hunter. So I kind of wanted to unpack uh, my thoughts on this issue and then give some, some opinions in general about wh what I feel about the specialization. So I wanted to give a real quick summary of the Dragon Hunter to give some uh, context to what we're going to be talking about here. So the Dragon Hunter is going to be able to use the Longbow, so Guardians will have the Longbow for the first time and they get five new weapon skills as a result of that. They're also going to get a set of Trap Skills Right. Previously, this was the ranger's domain. You, they will be able to imbue circle traps of light on the ground that only they can see, and they will do different effects if enemies walk over it, including their new heal skill is also going to be a trap, which heals for a little bit when they set the trap, and then when somebody runs over it, it actually does a big heal with some other effects on top of it as well. In addition, the virtues, like the F1, F2, F3 key of the Guardian, are going to actually change so that the, the passive effects are, are similar to what they are now, or even maybe even the same that they are now, but they will actually do different things when you activate them. One of them is uh, will allow you to sprout wings and kind of jump to an area and heal that area. Um, another one puts up a directional shield so that you can block different attacks. One of them throws a, a spear that puts a tether on the enemies that it actually... Uh, um, hits and, and hurts them over time, but also keeps them a certain distance from you. So there's actually a lot more gameplay coming in than just adding the Dragon Hunter with the longbow. And of course, then the Dragon Hunter is going to have its own different um, trait line, even though they don't they don't call it trait lines anymore. But you know, you get the idea. So there's going to be a whole different new way to play a Guardian. And they even said that uh, a condition Guardian or a condition-based Dragon Hunter is going to be something that's possible because they actually have the ability to uh, give some burning and bleed effects as well. So overall, there's going to be some new options for this class, and it's a totally different flavor and feel than it was before. So for those of you who don't know, the Dragon Hunter was released, and uh, it was met with a lot of community backlash. Um, I'm not saying that everybody hates the idea of a Dragon Hunter for the Guardian Elite Specialization, but there's certainly a, a vocal presence in the community that definitely does not like what they see. And I'll say, I'll say this, um, I, when I saw the announcement, when I read about the Dragon Hunter, I read the blog post, um, I didn't actually react much to it at all. It, 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 did not, it didn't stand out to me as something that was super cool. Um, but it also didn't, you know, it didn't bother me at all. I was like, oh, okay, the Guardian's a Dragon Hunter. And I immediately went into thinking uh, about the, you know, the mechanics of it. All right, what is it going to do? The name and the flavor itself didn't actually strike me. But uh, I will also admit that, you know, I do have a Guardian in Guild Wars 2, but it's not, I'm not overly attached to that character. And so I don't have a lot of emotional investment into Guardian like I would for a warrior. And I'll probably have more... Um, emotional response to whatever the warrior elite specialization happens to be. So my gut reaction wasn't wasn't to actually react much at all. So I was a little bit taken aback when I saw so much uh, outlash about uh, the name Dragon Hunter and the flavor of the Dragon Hunter. So I started to do a lot of research about, about figuring out what's what's the crux of the issue here. What are people upset about? So the feedback on the name and flavor of the Dragon Hunter comes in many different forms. Some of them are a little bit more valid in my opinion than others. I mean, some of the feedback is that the term Dragon Hunter is too specific. Right? We fight more than just dragons, so 
you know, why are we just specifically called Dragon Hunters? I don't love this argument that much. Yes, it's very specific. You may not like that it's very specific, but you can kind of extrapolate and say, no, the, the only creatures you fight are obviously not going to be dragons, but rather the Dragon Hunter specializes in killing or hunting or trapping uh, dragons of some sort. So in the concept or the, the context of uh, Guild Wars 2, you know, if you take out your the generic how, uh, the generic sound of a dragon hunter from like countless other games that fight dragons, think of yourself as a person in Tyria, right? What is the greatest threat to life in this world? And that is the Elder Dragon threat. So who would be more cool and badass than someone specifically trained and spe whose specific purpose is to actually hunt down these dragons? So if you think about it from the context of people living in this world, I think the name Dragon Hunter is cooler. We're just so used to the term dragon and maybe hunter. And there's so many count countless like uh, movies and books and game settings that, that use this kind of... Uh, you know, dragon slayer motif in it that uh, I, I think that it kind of loses some of its coolness, even if it really fits inside uh, of the realm of Tyria. So there's another bit of feedback where people say that, you know, isn't everyone a dragon hunter, right? I don't feel special because, you know, everyone's supposedly hunting the Elder Dragons. Everyone wants to stop. That's everyone's goal is to stop the Elder Dragons. Why am I the dragon hunter when everybody could be the dragon hunter? It sounds more like a title than the actual profession. And I, I don't I don't really love that bit of feedback. I, I, it doesn't work for me. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of understand your point. But, you know, again, it, 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 calling these... Guardians, Dragon Hunters, means that they've specially trained for this mission. These are the people that have the best abilities and the best tools for this job, and that's why they're called the Dragon Hunters. They, it's kind of like bringing in some elite force, you know, specifically to fight this threat, and these are the Dragon Hunters. So if you think about it from that aspect, you know, again, it's supposed to, it's supposed to sound... Uh, you know, it's supposed to inspire you. It's supposed to sound really cool and badass because, yes, this is the greatest threat to Tyria, and he, these are the people that stop it. They are the Dragon Hunter. And uh, then the last bit of feedback, or and, and actually, it's not the last bit. There's tons of other things, but the last one I'm going to mention here, and this is probably the one I think is the most valid, is the type of players that signed up to be Guardians way back two and a half years ago are the people who thought in their mind, you know what, I want to play the defensive heavy armor, shield bearing, you know, wielder of light. They like the the whole idea of that paladin crusader guardian type vibe to it. And that's why they were drawn to the class. And instead of this specialization being an extension of that or a specialized version of that, it's kind of going a whole different direction, right? It's going a direction where it's going more long range and it's going with, it's using traps and it feels overall more of like a rangery type uh, archetype than a guardian. So for those players who really just wanted to fight, you know, to, to be that kind of that be that rock, be that you know frontline vanguard uh, type uh, of of holy warrior or light wielding warrior or something like that. Um, they they feel like uh, they're not able to do that, or they were not they're not going to be able to enjoy the specialization because that's not the type of character that they signed up for. I understand that feedback. I, I actually I actually feel for that feedback quite a bit. Um, I don't want Arena Net to necessarily feel like they can't make swooping changes or they can't make. Um, uh, a specialization a, a little bit interesting or go in an odd direction because I think that's fun too. You know, somebody was mentioning the other day, what if Warrior was suddenly given a staff and they became a little bit more magical? That's totally antithetical to, you know, how a warrior is. But I would kind of like that. It would, it would come out of left field and I'd be like, all right, yeah, now I'm some sort of arcane warrior or something like that. You know, that would, that would be cool. So I don't want them to necessarily shy away from making big ch changes to it. I think what, what hurts a little bit is we're only getting one elite specialization at a time. For obvious reasons, there's a lot of work that goes into this. But I can see down the road, you know, if, if eventually we have three elite specializations to pick from, that, yeah, you could have Guardian be the core class, and then you could specialize into, like, the Paladin elite specialization, and then maybe a Crusader elite specialization, and then there's this wacky ranged one called the Dragon Hunter, that people would be more accepting of that, because it's an option for characters who want to go that way, but there's also different elite specializations for those who want to stick more to the, to the core class. 
Um, I think the fact that we're getting one elite specialization at a time and that we're not going to get you know, multiple elite specializations probably for years in the future is, is probably exacerbating the issue of when they want to break out of the mold of the, the, the core profession like they're doing a little bit with the Dragon Hunter here. So I do think that that's a, a valid reason for some people to be upset because it does not it does not feel like an extension of the core class. It feels like a completely different direction. You know, you look at um, rangers becoming druids. It's like okay, yeah, there's a nature loving you know martial class in the ranger and druids probably going to be. We don't have all the information on it yet. It's probably going to be a nature loving. Um, more magical bent on that, right? It's a little bit less martial, um, but it's still the same flavor. And Chronomancer and Mesmer are both kind of like wizard types or mage types that wield, um, you know, mind or, or or at least powers that are a little bit less tangible than things like the Elementalist, right? They, and you can see that Mesmer is, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more general and Chronomancer sp specify, you know, specifically focusing on the time aspect of it. You know, it, it is a, feels like a specialization of that. Um, so I, I do think people are looking at those other examples of how it really kind of gelled and you saw the progression, you saw it, and that the Guardian one is a little bit more out of left field. Um, so in the midst of all of this uh, kind of feedback, um, you know, John Peters uh, hit to the to the forums and actually made a post addressing why ArenaNet came up with this name, Dragon Hunter. And I think it's a little bit interesting, um, and I'll give my opinions on it after I read it. Um, he says, a couple notes on the Dragon Hunter. We went with this name because we felt it was evocative of the medieval witch hunters. Guardians consider themselves protectors of the innocent followers of their faith, be it in honor, valor, etc. The origin of the Dragon Hunter is a more subtle, nuanced version of this. Guardians fight for justice, and the Dragon Hunter faction believes justice is the eradication of dragons and their minions. I understand this is a lot more high concept than the Mesmer, but at the end of the day, we felt like we wanted to try and push a more mature theme here. I hope this helps explain our thinking. We had other generic names in mind, but felt it was more important to have a mix of specialization names that are generic fantasy, more Tyrian fantasy, and more high concept. This one falls more in the third category. Thanks, John. I find this explanation to be really interesting. I mean, if you if you remember what I said earlier, that the name initially didn't really strike me either way. So it's not something that uh, really bothered me o over much. Uh, but... This, this explanation doesn't really do much for me. I, I, I understand that they have these different buckets, right? High fantasy, Tyrian fantasy, and then uh, uh, high concept that they want to put these in. You know, and high fantasy would be stuff like warrior and wizard and just like generic fantasy. And Tyrian fantasy, which I think is really interesting and they should probably do more specializations like it, are like fantasy that has specific things to do with this world and you know you'll think, you know if you have you know, a, a character named like White Mantle or something like that, it, it, it's it's specific to Tyria. And I almost think that you know they could have gone with a dragon huntery name, like an elder dragon -y name uh, that actually would be Tyrian fantasy for this. But they they said that uh, the dragon hunter is neither of those. It's more high concept. And high concept, if you do searching on the internet for it, it's. It's really difficult to kind of categorize it. You see a lot of references to it being um, re referred to as films that uh, have a what if question in the pitch or films that can be described with just like one sentence. Um, and I found some definitions that were generic and not really relating to film. And it says like a simple or often striking idea or presence that lends itself easy to promote in marketing or a popular appeal. And I, I, I don't know, I'm not seeing Dragon Hunter as being high concept. I, I kind of see it more as, like I described earlier, it's more high fantasy. It's like, it's something, it's a, it's a trope we've seen, Dragon Slayer, that kind of thing. We've seen that countless times, time and time again. So I'm not sure this fits into high concept as much. I have a theory about what happened here with the design of the Dragon Hunter, and specifically the flavor and the name of it. I could be wrong, but I, I think this is a result of bottom-up design. So in design, there's 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 top-down design and bottom-up design, and actually, if you if you follow Magic the Gathering at all, Mark Rosewater is one of the lead designers at Wizards of the Coast. He does a bunch of different articles over the years about designing Magic cards, and there's some cards that he will design, or they the team will design by, they have the name of the card, or maybe the, the concept of the 
flavor, the story behind the card, and then they fit mechanics to that. And that's that's top-down design. And then there's some cards that they actually have the mechanic for, right? What they want it to do in the game, and then uh, they build the flavor and the name around that, and that's bottom-up design. And there's, there's no... One is not better or worse than the other. It's good to have a mix of both. They're just, they're just different. And I think the Dragon Hunter is bottom-up design. I think they, they took a step back and said, what do we want to do for the Guardian Elite specialization? And they said, hey, you know, well, Guardians don't have a lot of really long-range options. All right, it would be really cool to give them a longbow. All right, and uh, what are some of the other things we could do? Well, we could give them uh, traps, right? We, so far, we only have rangers that have traps. It would be cool to have, like, these light-imbued traps that they put on the ground. And, you know, we kind of that kind of couples well with the longbow and all this. Maybe we can put some conditions in there. So they came up with those concepts, and they said, all right, that's it. So what is this called? What's the flavor behind it? And they kind of put the bow and the traps together, and they said, all right, well, Guardians are the protectors of Tyria, and what are we protecting against? Well, we're protecting against dragons. Dragon's the big threat. Okay, so maybe they are going to become the dragon hunters. Yeah, that's cool, blah, 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 blah. I think that's how it came about. I don't think it's necessarily as high concept like they're saying. I think it's really just bottom-up design. They came up with the mechanics first. And then they needed a name and a flavor to kind of fit those mechanics. And that's what we came up with. And I think this is the key of kind of uh, uh, getting over this issue a, a bit. Because I, I really highly doubt they're going to change the name. And we'll, we can talk about that in a, in a, in a little bit. But the, the key here is focus on the mechanics. Because I think what they've revealed mechanically looks really cool to me. Um, I, I love the fact that they've changed the virtues to actually have effects like with, with the wings that fly in and throwing the spear with the tether. I like the fact that, um, you know, it's a little bit different with uh, being able to do a condition guardian build. I think that's really uh, kind of cool. Now, some people don't love the idea of traps, and I kind of agree that I don't, I don't love the ranger traps, to be honest. Um, but, you know, some of these actually seem pretty cool. I like the one where it spins to win, right? They run over a trap and there's these whirling blades of death that really seem to do a lot of damage. And I like the fact that the heal skill is a little bit different in that it's a, it, it's a trap as well. So I think once people get their hands on this elite specialization and uh, they, they start playing around with it, they might find that it's really fun. And regardless of the the name Dragon Hunter, you might have a lot of, it, a lot of fun playing it. I, I, I know that names are important. Um, I, I will say, I will say for me personally, the name Guardian is why I didn't play a Guardian for years uh, in this game. Now, I like the Guardian I'm leveling up now. I think it's actually a really cool class. But at launch and during the beta, I never even played a Guardian for a second because I hated the name. I don't, I, it, to me, it was really generic sounding and it was too defensive. And, uh, you know, it's like being called a defender or a protector. It just, the name didn't do anything for me. Now, once I got over the name and I saw, oh, okay, it's got cool weapons. I like the I like the fact that it wields a hammer and a great sword, but you can also swap it out to things that are more magical and a staff. And, you know, the effects are really cool. And I, I don't know, I, I really like the, the actual, the mechanics of the class. And I think that people, once they get used to it, once they get into game, that they're they're going to be able to to kind of get past the, the the name itself and really focus on the mechanics that they put in there because I think that's where the design was I think that they started out with the mechanics and then the name came afterwards I could be totally wrong on that but that's just in general where I thought and I guess I'll, I'll leave off lastly with uh, there's people throwing around a a lot of different name suggestions petitioning for Arena to change the name of their class you know they're like Crusader, make it Paladin, make it Inquisitor, make it Arbiter. Some people really love the name Arbiter. To be Arbiter sounds like arbitration, and I start to think of real-world lawyers, and it just really, <laughs> I don't know. And plus, I want to say it with a pirate accent and go, I'm an Arbiter. So I, I don't really like that name. But even if they changed it to, that, that, that's the kind of crazy thing. If they made it a Paladin, if they made it a Paragon or a Crusader or one of these things, yeah, a lot of people, the, the, I guess this this whole issue would, would be for wouldn't have happened, right? People would have just went, okay, and then they would have focused more on the the actual um, uh, the mechanics of it and stuff like that. But, you know, something like a Paladin, how many games has Paladins in it? Tons and tons of games. So it's, it, I don't see a, a big change happening uh, for, by switching the name to something like a Crusader or a Templar or something like that. It's still going to be, you know, generic sounding. It's still not going to be, you know, this super exciting thing. So I don't know. I would just encourage the community to try to get past the name, focus on the mechanics a little bit more. And, uh, you know, hopefully um, hopefully the warrior has something cool so that I'm not in like a week or two 
YouTube saying, I hate the name that the warrior got because it's boring because then I'll just be eating my words. Focus on the mechanics. I'm going to tell myself my own my own advice when, when that happens. So I don't know. What do you think of all of this? Do you agree that it's uh, probably a result of uh, bottom-up design? Um, do you like the name? Do you, you know, do you uh, hate the name? I, I would really doubt, uh, let me know in the comments below. I really doubt that they're going to change it just because it, it's probably a big undertaking depending on how far they are along with having like blog posts written and uh, in-game, um, uh, you know, uh, that name put in in-game and, and remember the localization in the different languages, they'd have to change it all over the place. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's not something they can easily do. And nor do I necessarily think that they should change it just based on community uh, uh, a feedback in this regard. It's not that important. They should be able to name things what they want and uh, not necessarily uh, crumble uh, under, under some of this because you, you, there is a vocal presence that is uh, against this name but there's probably tons and tons of people that think this is really cool and badass sounding and changing it would disappoint all of those people so you know it is what it is this week we're going to get to find out what the necromancer uh, specialization is and hopefully some of the um some of the uh, attention will be off of the Dragon Hunter for a while. But that's going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate you hitting that like and favorite button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Take care.